Hey hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel this is Saj from Malayala firstly whoever is watching this video I wish I wish you a very happy 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 new year uh, so may you wishes come true this year uh, chalo coming to this particular video this video is all about 75% criteria so which I feel many of you should know before you give your board exams so many people will take their boards light okay so that's why I don't want you to do that because uh, boards are go uh, be going to be really really important so in terms of deciding your fate even though even after you are getting 100% or first rank in JEE mains or JEE advance based on the percentage you are getting in your class 12 uh, you are going to get I mean you are going to be decided whether you will be given the seat or not so even if you got IIT Bombay CSE they will be checking you whether you have 75% criteria in your class 12 or not so that's the importance of this particular 75% criteria so during COVID, uh, one or two years they have removed it, but uh, from last year they again started back. So 75% criteria is there this year also. So you should be focusing on your board exams too. So what is 75% criteria? How they will be calculating all this? So how can you know that how many marks you need to qualify for this particular thing? So if you don't qualify also, not only JE means if you want to join any local college or private college, they at least ask 50% or 60%. So board, boards are going to be really playing an important role in deciding your seat for engineering or any exam okay uh, or any degree of course. So they will be seeing what percentage you got in your class 12. So that's why this video is going to be really helpful and really important. Make sure you share this video to all your friends uh, who are going to attempt a JE means either this year or the next year whatever who are in class 11 and 12 please do share this video to all your friends. And if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe. So a very good content will be on your way. So that will be a great support for me. Okay. So let's uh, talk about 75% criteria or top 20% or whatever and give you a clarity on this particular topic. See, firstly, uh, I am taking the reference of uh, JOSA business rules of 2023. So last year. So if, as you know, JOSA is something like a committee which uh, conducts the counseling before they start the process, they release the business rules all the rules rules and regulations what one should follow in order to attend that counseling will be released so that pdf of last year's josa 2023 pdf i am showing you now so that i am what why i am saying this is you should know the authenticity of the information which i am providing so let's go and let's see what it is okay so firstly uh, there will be two two things uh, so you should be qualifying any one of those two so first rule okay so either you should be having 75% aggregate marks in class 12 or equivalent board examination. The aggregate marks for SCST PWD should be at least 65%. You should either satisfy this or this, this coming to this you must be within top 20 percentile of successful candidates in their respective class 12 board examination. Okay. So I'll explain this. For example, you have uh, 1000 marks out of 1000 marks you got 75 754 that means you got 75.4 percent and you belong to obc category let's say then you will, you are satisfying this particular rule so you will be considered as qualified okay so if you get uh, any seat in nit they will be confirming your seat if you have 650 let's say and you belong to obc category and in class 12 total marks is 1000 in this case you just have 65 percent and you belong to obc category so you are not satisfying 75 percent criteria then they will check whether you are in top 20 percentile. So what top 20 percentile is? Let's say there are 100 students who given bo uh, the board exam and you, I got 62 percent in that board exam and my rank is 83. Okay. So 83. So top 20 percentile is that means 81 to 100. If you have this particular rank in your board, you will be considered as top 20 percentile. You are in that. So you are not satisfying this above rule but you are satisfying this below rule then also you will be qualified but for example if uh, if i got 60 percentage and my rank is 72 let's say okay in this case i am in top 72 percentile right top 72 percentile in that case i am not satisfying above rule and below rule also that's why you are not qualified here so your seat will be rejected if you don't have this particular criteria. So this is what 75% aggregate marks, 65% agreement for SCST PWD and top 20 percentile. So you should satisfy any of these two. So I go, I hope you got a clarity on this and usually this top 20 percentile uh, marks will be released by your boards 
and they will be submitting that to NTA. So based on that, they'll check whether you have crossed it or not. If you crossed it, done. Like you are qualified. Okay. So you can also check those in their in your board's website. Might be they might release it. And yeah, the percentage calculation will be done for all the subjects required in single academic year only. Therefore, candidates appearing for improvement. So if you are appearing for improvement uh, in either appear in one or more subjects and secure seventy five percent aggregate marks. So in that case, they will be taking uh, best of two. So I will be showing you that also. The the marks scored in the four five subjects. Five subjects will be physics, chemistry, mathematics, and a language. Uh, language can be like English or whatever. And fifth subject can be other than above four. Like five subjects they will be checking. So if your marks is out of thousand thousand marks, so they will be scaling that to five hundred. And based on this five hundred only they'll check the percentage. So that's what uh, is given here for the calculation of the total marks of five subjects. If the marks award is not equal to out of the hundred, then marks will be scaled down to hundred so that the total aggregate marks is out of five hundred. In in terms of Telangana maths, so and AP, they have two papers, seventy five each for maths. So they'll be added to one fifty. So but they need to, I mean, uh, give it to hundred, right? For example, let's say here he got hundred marks. Out of one fifty, he just got hundred marks. So that means here it is something like sixty six marks out of hundred. So that means they are they are just going going to scale your uh, subject wise marks to hundred, and overall they will be added added to five hundred. So based on this only they will be seeing top twenty percentile or uh, percentage seventy five percent criteria. If your boards uh, just award only letter grades. So without providing an equivalent percentage of marks on the grade sheet, the candidate should obtain a certificate from the board specifying the equivalent marks. For example, you got A grade, B grade, C grade, something like that. So in that case, what is meant by A grade according to your board? What is the equivalent marks to A grade? What is the equivalent marks to B grade? So you should take that certificate from your board and you have to submit that uh, during the verification. Uh, so based on that, they'll check whether you are uh, top 20 percent or is I mean 75 percent or 65 percent aggregate you crossed it or not. And uh, for example, so as I already said, this is earlier uh, last year's uh, business rules. So the years will be different. So let me just change it so that you will not confuse. Okay. So for candidates who appeared in class 12 board examination for the first time in 2023 and reappeared in all subjects or for whatsoever reason in 2024, the best of two performances will be considered. Got it? Done. If board aggregate marks considering class eleven and class twelve examination, then only class twelve marks will be considered. For example, in Telangana and AP, what they do is in the final memo or mark sheet, they will be giving two two things: first year, second year, intermediate first year, intermediate second year, class eleven or class twelve, and finally they will be giving out of thousand how much award. For me, for myself, I got nine sixty three something. So my percentage is ninety six point three out of thousand. Okay. But they will not consider this. They will only consider the second year marks. So second year marks is out of five thirty, four seventy is papers and sixty uh, marks will be practicals. So out of five thirty, they will be scaling these marks to five hundred. Okay, based on that, they will be taking it done. So if you belongs to a three year diploma course, let's say in that final year only will be considered. And if you belongs to semester semester system uh, particular boards, in that last two semesters will be considered, and from that they will be taking consideration of seventy five percent or sixty five percent based on your criteria or top twenty percentile. And if at all, if at all, like that final year, you don't in that final year course you don't have math, physics or chemistry, but you had in the earlier year. Uh, so previous years in that. So in that case, what they will do is they will consider that previous year math, physics, chemistry marks. So subjects are constant. If you don't have that subjects in that particular year, no, not an issue. Before years, if you have, they will consider that, and based on that only they will take the percentage, right? So that's it, guys. So that's about seventy five percent criteria and uh, like top twenty percentile. So already TS uh, intermediate uh, schedule has been released. So this is the schedule. So make sure you focus on the examinations. You can easily score. And AP as of now they didn't release the schedule, but uh, according to the Google, it's something like March first to March twenty. And coming to CBSE schedule is already out. Date sheet is already out. So from fifteenth February it's going to be start started uh, based on the subjects you have. You can write the exams till April fifth. So that's it, guys. So boards are going to be playing a really really crucial role in deciding your college seat or college admission. So make sure you focus on the board exams. So don't take it light. So that's it. Uh, with that note, once again, finally, a very happy, happy, happy New Year to all of you. All the very best. May all your dreams come true this year. 
so that's my wish from my side thank you guys if you still didn't subscribe to the channel do subscribe and support me i'll be coming up with lots of good content for all of you which will be helpful for you okay so that's it uh, take care bye bye